Today, I'm gonna show you how to wire up some directionals on really anything you ever want to. At first glance, it may seem like a lot of wires, but I promise you I will explain every single one of them and make it as easy as possible. This entire setup cost around $15, give or take a buck. And I will have links to all of it down in the description. All right, let's start off with the basics. These bulbs are 1157 bulbs. Now, technically, 1157s are two filament bulbs. Each one has two filaments. So technically, each one can light up two different ways. I am only using one of those filaments in each one of these. So you can see there's a white wire coming out of each, uh, each socket, and I am not using that white wire in this circuit. I could use it if I wanted to, but not for this scenario. So just ignore that there are extra white wires coming out of these sockets. Now right here is the flasher. That is what makes the flash happen. For me, I went with this one. It's a Novita 552, and this is like the most common flasher in the universe. These things are like $5 at every auto parts store, and they are used in like every car in the universe from like 1965 to uh, 1990. I don't know. But they made like a bazillion of these things. You can get them in junkyards. You can get them at parts stores. They are $5 brand new, and they work phenomenal. You'll see that there are two relays in the center, and those are these. So you can see this is just a regular Bosch style relay, five pins. We're not going to use the pin 87A. You can see that's the red wires that are bundled up on the side here. We don't use those for that. And this is really nice because this brand actually puts the circuit on here for you so you can reference it, which is pretty nice. But you're not going to need that because I'm going to show you how to do it. Down here, we have a three-way switch. So it goes on if you go that way, and it goes on if you go that way. And then it has an off in the center. Now, to have directionals, you obviously need this style switch. If you get a different style switch, you're just going to be turning one side on and one side off. You have to have a three-way switch to send power out one side and out the other side, but nothing else. You want it off in the middle. Up here, you'll notice two fuses. They come in from the battery. One of them actually powers up the light bulbs. The other one just goes to the switch and tells the relays to turn on and off. But we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, now that you know what we're working with, let me show you how to wire it. It's actually easier than it looks, I promise. These Bosch style relays are awesome because they can be used for a variety of reasons and they're even labeled on the bottom and sometimes on the top. This one you can see is pin 86 on the left, 85 on the right, 87 on the top, pin 30 on the bottom, and 87A in the middle, which we're not going to use. Now, if you turn it like this, you'll see it's exactly the same one that I have down there. So let's go through the wiring. Pin 86, right on the left side, is white. So what we'll do is we'll follow these white wires down through here, and they go to each side of the switch. So you have two relays, one white wire goes to this side, one white wire goes to this side of the switch. That's easy enough, right? You can do that. Pin 85 is the black pin. On each one, those go to ground. Doesn't get any easier than that, am I right? Pin 30 is the blue wires. They get tied together at the flasher. The other side of the flasher goes to your fuse, which goes to your battery. So you want power coming in from your battery to a fuse, to the flasher, and then into both blue wires here, which is pin 30, on each relay. Okay, the last one is the yellow wire, and this is pin 87 on each relay. You'll see the yellow wire comes out here, and it goes to the power wire of each bulb. So one relay will be for the left side, one relay will be for the right side of the car. And when you turn it on, it powers up one side through that yellow wire. So it sends power out this yellow to each bulb. And then the bulb on the other side is grounded. You'll see the black wires are all connected together to this ground. If you flick it to the other side, you'll see the yellow wire comes out, powers up that bulb, powers up that bulb, and then on the other side of the bulb, you have the ground, which comes over here, right to your ground. One thing to note is that your ground wires don't all need to be connected together like mine are. 
they can actually ground right to a chassis. So if you were mounting this in a car or a four wheeler or a motorcycle, you can mount all of these ground wires straight to the chassis and the whole chassis will be grounded so you don't have to actually tie all the grounds together. Though I will have links in the description for all these things, if you happen to get relays that have different color wires coming out of them, just make sure that you follow the numbers on the bottom because the numbers are going to be the same across all relays that you buy. They are all going to have those five numbers or maybe if you buy a four pin relay, it just won't have 87A on it. So just follow the numbers and you should be pretty much good to go. The last thing that I'd like to mention is these 1157 bulbs are actually really perfect for this scenario. So if you were to copy this exact design on your vehicle, your four wheeler, your dirt bike, your car, whatever you may happen to uh, be adding turn signals to, you can actually use the white wire on each of these bulb sockets to be parking lights or they could be brake lights. You, you can just wire that circuit up separately and because there's two filaments in each bulb, one filament can be the directionals, the other filament can be brake lights or parking lights or whatever other light you want it to be. So these things are really great, really universal. You don't have to use all three wires on them, but you have that option. So it's just a really nice setup to get. And like I said, the whole, the whole thing here is probably about $15, which is just a really great value to hook up directionals on whatever vehicle you want to. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And be sure to subscribe, like, and leave me a comment below and let me know what you're working on. I'd love to see it. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments as well, because I'll answer them.